Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss the archaeological site of Cuicuilco. When the site was occupied by those living in the past, it was located on the southern shores of Lake Texcoco. Archaeologists placed the earliest creation and occupation around 1500 BC. The occupation site seemed to have flourished for a very long time. Its remains are currently located in the Mexico City borough of Tlalpan. Cuicuilco appears to be the oldest city that we are currently aware of within the Valley of Mexico. Cuicuilco was old enough to have been trading with those ancient people known as the Olmec. This is the now dormant volcano Xitle that ended the city and its inhabitants in the ancient past. The destruction occurred around 250 AD. Many were killed by suffocation from the initial eruption. The slow-moving lava later covered Cuicuilco, ending a long occupation of the southern lake area. Here are remnants of the fiery destruction, more signs of the destructive force. It is the oldest site with the oldest known culture in the area that would later become Tenochtitlan, the empire of the Aztec, modern-day Mexico City. The central structure of the site is a circular step pyramid. The pyramid appears to have had multiple levels of build, all circular in design. The original build may have first started around 1000 to 900 BC. Here is a close-up of the impressive build, a feat created by people that lived approximately 3000 years ago. It has survived countless earthquakes. In the middle of the largest city of the Americas, jam-packed highways surrounding this ancient site. Excavation took place several times at the site. Remember that originally it looked like a hillside in the middle of the city covered with an ancient lava flow. Different styles of retaining walls can be seen around the entire top of the pyramid. An irrigation canal and water diversion system can also be observed on top of and around the pyramid. As you can see here, no excavation has been done on this part of what appears to be a hillside the pyramid is located at but it's really part of the pyramid. Knowing that there were tunnels and voids excavated within the pyramid in the past, I decided to use the 3D geosurveyor system to conduct a non-invasive search of what was below the layer of ground I was standing on. Notice the retention walls to the pyramid I'm near. The results I got were incredible. The magnetometer connects to the tablet via Bluetooth connection. The magnetic field differences in the surrounding area are color-coded within a software program to give you a visual perspective of what lies below the ground. These are the findings. The blue shows voids and cavities within the pyramid not excavated, not known to the archaeologists or the public. Dead center at 0.87 meters looks to be a metallic object. The deepest void at 1.37 meters converts to 4.5 feet below ground. The configuration leads me to believe that some parts below ground you can bend over and walk through, others you must crawl, but it is in a straight line. I caught the edges of a deep down slope cavity. 2.2 meters is equal to 7.2 feet below ground, so a lot deeper. Here we look to have a large metallic object at approximately 1.3 meters down. The average is 4 feet below ground inside the Cuicuilco Pyramid. I share this information in hopes of showing the public what is being missed at archaeological excavation sites, especially those that occurred a long time ago, before this non-invasive technology was available to the scientific community. An altar was located adjacent to the bottom step of the circular man-made wonder. I can almost guarantee there are more altars to be found that were buried long ago. This is the altar site. So these would show up as cavities on GPR and 3D geosurvey systems. So just think that this site was filled in with hardened lava, several thousand years of dirt, sand, and plant growth in it and all over it. Incredible architecture from a people considered archaic. I'm not so sure about that. The pyramid itself is large. Now a single stone stella was found at the site near the altar. 
the carvings on the stella are little understood. Here's a photo from the original excavation of the stella. The site in the middle southern end of Mexico City has a small museum with several pieces that really must be seen. Subject matter is questionable. This is the piece that piques my interest. It appears to have human and reptilian features and is wearing an intricate headpiece. The artifact is only several inches tall. There's a slightly different angle. And this was the location of the site when Lake Texcoco existed. I appreciate you taking the time out to view the presentation. My hopes were to show everyone what has been missed below ground. If we can eventually locate and excavate these missed gems, we can further our knowledge of past cultures and civilizations, especially ones I believe existed but are being played down or purposely ignored. The ancients and ancestors that lived before us were fully aware of a history we have unfortunately lost track of in modern day times. Please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inform you on what has been missed, lost, or hidden. Take care, everyone.